Good morning. Um, certainly, um, you need to understand that uh, uh, what we issued a couple of days ago about uh, the Omicron and our ability to, to detect it uh, is something that uh, everybody has to do. Uh, actually, is one of the requests of the FDA. Every time there is a new variant, uh, you need to actually check with the GSAID uh, bank and uh, really ma making sure that uh, the product uh, is able to detect that variant. Um, as far as diagnostic, diagnostic testing, I think that uh, in terms of volume, we are still, uh, let me say, 30% down uh, worldwide from where we were um, in Q4, Q1 uh, last year and beginning of 2021. And this, I believe, tells you a lot uh, about uh, the state of uh, the uh, opening and uh, the way that people today are used to live uh, with, with COVID. Although I believe that we need to wait until the respiratory season will kick in to really understand how much testing will be necessary because now we are entering into a, a, a season where you know you do have certainly COVID and Corona, but then you have all the other respiratory diseases. So uh, we really need to wait and see what is gonna happen in the next couple of months. It has felt like it's been very difficult to distinguish between symptoms of cold and flu versus COVID as we see more twists and turns around different variants. But uh, multi or lateral flow tests have been doing a lot of the heavy lifting lately, at least in this country. Uh, what do you make of uh, a U-turn now and a swap back to, to more PCR tests around this new variant? Uh, look, uh, as you know, also in Italy, there has been a lot of debate uh, about antigen testing versus uh, PCR testing. And uh, it's undeniable and uh, scientifically proven that uh, a, a good antigen test uh, can detect between 300,000 and 500,000 copies per ml of the virus, whereas a good PCR test uh, goes down to 500. Uh, the only difference, so in theory, you should be using PCR uh, all over. The problem is that, unfortunately, PCR can only be performed today with fairly complex technologies. And so uh, I believe that uh, PCR testing, antigen testing uh, will continue to coexist. And uh, really, depending on the different markets, in the U.S., there is wide, widespread use. Uh, also because FDA is actually pushing for more, for more home testing, whereas uh, at least in the European countries today, it's not been so common, let me say, for people to get tested before going to a party. But uh, again, it, that has to do with a lot of uh, policies that different governments are actually pushing to try to contain COVID.